Crown Me to me is more than a song. It's actually my personal testimony. I found myself in a season where I knew that I was far away from God. My heart felt far away from Him and I would feel His voice talking to me. I would feel just different nudges and different convictions where I just found myself like, I, I knew that the Holy Spirit was talking to me and I knew that I heard His voice, but I kind of just kept ignoring it and just kept going through that season of just having a hard heart. Different circumstances in life just led me to that place. But Crown Me was birthed from me kind of having that revelation that He's never left, that He's never stopped being my Father. And so that's my prayer for anybody who listens to it, um, for believers first, I should just say, just that, that spirit of shame, like running away from His voice. And I feel like in a sense, the prodigal son felt like that because he said, I'm no longer worthy to be called your son, I'll be a servant. But it's his inheritance, it's his birthright that his father is his father. And so that was kind of the experience that I was having was that even though I was hurt, even though I was upset, even though I was ashamed, he was my father and that didn't change, you know, through the blood of Christ. So it's just my prayer that believers will be more firm and believers will be drawn um, to him, as well as unbelievers and just experiencing what it's like to have a father. As an unbeliever, you kind of experience um, even believers too, but just the orphan spirit and just feeling like you, know, you don't have a home, you don't have anybody to be accountable to you and protect you. And so I just pray that the song breaks those chains off of people and affirms them that there is a father that would love to call them his own. The first line of the song is, I hear your voice upon the wind. It calls me back to you again. And that was my experience writing the song. So I found myself in a season where the Lord kind of stripped me from a lot of things, similar to the prodigal son where he found himself like eating the pig, being tempted to eat the pig's food. And just like filling your life with, with less than what you were made for. So I was just in my room and I was just having that time of reflection and just worship. And that's how the song came about was just like, it just dropped in my spirit, like you've been talking to me all this time, I hear your voice. As I was singing the song, I actually broke down and I was crying in the presence of God. I think the line was, all the time that I've been wasting, you've been waiting for me to come home. All the times that I've been running, you were chasing after my heart. And so, yeah, when I sang it, I just broke down and I just felt so understood. And everything that I was experiencing made sense. Even the rebellion, like everything made sense. So the song will be on all platforms. I've been working with Dream Universe Music. I'm expecting to release it like hopefully sometime by the end of August. I think that the advice I would give to anybody experiencing something similar would be transparency, not being afraid to be known by God, not being afraid to be honest. Like if you're hurt, explain it. If you're angry, explain it. If you're ashamed, explain it. I feel like a lot of the times we know the voice of God is talking to us and we'll run away, but He actually wants us to run towards His voice and be embraced by Him. So that would just be my advice is just be honest, you know, look in the mirror, acknowledge like where you are in your life, what's holding you back from your purpose and your destiny and just confront it and He will, just like the prodigal son's story, the father embraced him and the father crowned him with a ring and a robe and celebrated him. and. Um, yeah, I think that the Lord just longs to do that for more people if they'd be willing 